please make sure you never ask a buyer this question. Whether you're on the phone, you're on email, text message, don't ask this number one question that so many agents ask, and it just crushes their conversion. They absolutely convert nothing because of this big question here. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you and grow in your real estate business. Today, we're talking about that big question everybody always asks, do you have an agent helping you? Every time you get a buyer lead, you're talking to someone on the phone, even converting on email, Facebook, whatever, you go to that qualifying and you start asking silly questions like, do you have an agent that's representing you? Why would you ask such a thing? The only reason the prospect would see you as asking that is to close them. So you can help. Like, do you have a boyfriend? Well, if I'm not interested in you, I have a boyfriend. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, if I'm not interested in you, I have a girlfriend, right? Like that's how it's going to work. Why would you ask a question which would lead? They know what the answer is if they say no, okay? So uh, if I were talking to someone, I said, hey, do you have a boyfriend? If they say, no, I don't have a boyfriend, she already knows what I'm getting ready to say next. I'm trying to close the deal. Well, when you're dealing with salespeople, the last thing you want is, oh, I really hope this salesperson converts me today. So why would you ask such a silly thing, such as, do you have an agent helping you for when the time comes to buy a home? You already know what the answer is. 100% of the people you talk to are going to either say, yes, I already have an agent. My brother's a realtor. Or they're going to say, no, we're just doing it on our own. We don't really want anyone right now. But all three of those examples are, I don't want to work with you. So why would you ask that question? What if we could get rid of that? I already have someone helping me. My brother's a realtor, that type of thing. What if we got rid of all that? By changing that question, because I know you don't want to waste your time with someone if you think they've signed an exclusive buyer's agreement, which usually hasn't happened anyway. But what if we could change that question? What if we change it to this? Yeah, no problem at all. Let me ask you, uh, who's your agent? Ooh, it's a little different. Hey, yeah, no problem. Let me ask, what's your agent's name? Oh, now we can get to the truth a lot quicker. Instead of saying, do you have one? Yes or no, because they're always going to say yes. I can say, what's your agent's name? Who's the agent that's representing you? Now we can get to the truth a lot quicker. Now, they still may say, oh, we're trying to do this on our own. We're not really ready to commit to anyone, that type of thing. But at least we got all that crap out of the way where they're not saying, yeah, I already have an agent. And you're like, oh, okay, thanks for calling. Call that agent. Why don't you have that agent help you? We're not dealing with that anymore because we can get to the truth a lot easier. So you don't want to do an open-ended question that's just a yes or a no. We already know. They're going to say, yeah, I already have a boyfriend. Yeah, I already have a girlfriend. Yeah, I already have an agent. Because they don't want a salesperson. But when we change it up just a little bit, and it sounds very natural in conversation, and we say something as simple as, yeah, no problem at all. Who's the agent that's representing you? Now we can get to the truth a lot easier. You know, And this is true phone. This is true email, text message, Facebook, direct message. Uh, anything that you're utilizing here to communicate with your prospects, this is how you can better communicate with them, get to the truth much quicker so you can do a good job of helping them out to begin with. You don't want to get shut down where they think it's just a salesperson trying to close them. Okay, that, That's like asking, well, are you familiar with the benefits of a buyer's agent and what they can do to help you? I already know it's coming next, so no thank you. They don't even know what the benefits are, but they don't want it. So if you change your approach just a little bit, instead of saying, do you have, just say, who is? What is your agent's name? That's going to change it drastically because he can't just come up with a name. So that will make a big difference for you on conversion. I want you to utilize that in your own business. You know, we teach a lot of this sales stuff uh, because what's the point of getting leads if you screw up those? How many leads could have been good but you asked that question the wrong way. How many over the years? How many could have been converted, but they knew the whole, you say your line, I'll say my line. They knew that whole salesperson approach and they screwed it up on your behalf. They screwed it up for you because they just didn't want to be closed at that time. 
change that up. I think it's going to make a big difference for you. If you look at uh, lots of training, if you look in the video description below here, we have tons of training links that will help you out. I always tell everybody, go to getfastclosings.com to get started. But these are the types of things we're always tweaking. We're always changing. And I give you these little tips that make, you know, I always say little hinges swing big doors, right? So these little tips that we're putting in place can create a massive difference in your business. All of a sudden you're getting better conversions and you'll mistakenly think, Oh, wow, this lead source is really good. I'm getting some really good leads from here. No, you're doing a better job as a salesperson because that approach would work with the last lead source you had that you thought those leads were no good. It's not like good leads go to this website, but all the bad ones go there. If they really can't qualify, they're not serious, they're just messing around on the internet, they go to that website, but all the good ones go to this one. No, that's not how life works. A good salesperson can convert anybody that's actively looking to buy or sell. And they do that by making those little bitty adjustments there. So hopefully you find that helpful. Make sure you're following this channel here. Ring the bell uh, so you can get notified every single day we have a morning meeting. I want to make this profitable for you. I always try and make very good use of your time. If you're going to be hanging out with me, I want you to learn something to get your mind working in the right direction, get your actions each day to help you in creating more closings, getting more clients for yourself so you can make more money. I'm Greg Luther, honored to have you watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.